tonight when he tests this, that'll be the first time he's ever done this? Yep. I'm crossing my fingers that they can make it to the testing station this afternoon, but things aren't looking good. Last minute details can take a lot of time, especially for a group of guys who haven't slept more than two hours a night in weeks. It's 4 o'clock, they've got a track time of 5.30. As you can see, they're still feverishly working, there's welding going on, the tires aren't even on this thing yet. I have no idea if they're going to make it. Uh, I see tires, guys. Does that mean they're ready to go on? They're ready. It's like a pit crew. Okay. The team may be glassy-eyed from lack of sleep, but at least it's not preventing them from celebrating the little victories that happen along the way. Ha ha ha! Nice. Oh, oh, I'm an old man. I, I just can't. <laughs> are you feeling it now? Oh, yeah. I'm, now are you feeling it? I'm not as tired anymore. It's, you're getting your second win. Oh. Third win. Fourth win. Yeah, six or seven. Yeah. <laughs> Now that the tires are on the bullet, we should be ready to hit the track, right? Not so fast. These guys are real perfectionists, which I guess, hmm, it's a good thing. Isaac, it's 6 o'clock at night. I am starting to get exhausted, so you must be way past it, I'm sure. You look very tired yourself. Uh, your crew's been working like nuts around here. What is going on? Where are we at? What's happening? We had uh, intended to go to TRC tonight. And uh, realistically, reality check time, taking a look at the car, seeing where we're at. Front suspension is totally assembled. Rear suspension, we ran into an interference problem on the brake again, uh, tightening that back up. We're probably a half hour to assembling the rear suspension. It's 6 o'clock now, so two hours to get the car back on the ground. We're running out of daylight here, so what we're going to do is the uh, team still is very enthusiastic, morale is very high, so we're going to continue to work with great energy, uh, nut and bolt check the car, and uh, we'll actually have a better car to test tomorrow. So you're a couple of days past due, right. but it's the right thing to do. You'll right. get everything tested exactly how it should be. Right. So we're going to let you work through the night. Uh, we'll meet you back at the track, what, hour 5.30, early? break of dawn. 5.30. I don't know how you're burning midnight oil like this, but uh, good luck to you. And Thank you very much. We'll see you at 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. Good luck. Before catching up with the Buckeye Bullet 2 team, I met up with Steve Ellis, Honda's manager of fuel cell marketing, to learn more about the FCX. Though it's still in the test phase, Honda's aiming to get this zippy little car on their lots in the near future. Are other car manufacturers also creating hydrogen cars? Every automaker pretty much has some project going with hydrogen fuel cell vehicles or hydrogen internal combustion. But we have to work forward toward the future and kind of plant a seed today to uh, reap the uh, reward somewhere down the road. So everyone's working on the research, but we've put some in the hands of people. With all of these different technologies, vegetable oil, electric, biodiesel, ethanol, hydrogen, would you say that hydrogen is the future? Hydrogen is the ultimate end game. This is a fuel and vehicle that gives us zero vehicle emissions, zero carbon emissions at the fuel source, a domestic resource, and zero smog emissions. It doesn't get any better than that. Everything we do today should be a step toward that ultimate goal. Just to be the devil's advocate, doesn't electric give us zero emissions? Electric does give us zero emissions, and we've learned through previous efforts that customers want a vehicle that they can simply refill in three to five minutes and get on down the road. That was one of the barriers to battery electric vehicles. Where are we now? How are we making hydrogen now? And where do you see it in the future? That's another great benefit of hydrogen. Today, all gasoline is made one way. It comes from oil. Hydrogen can be made many different ways. So the inputs of energy can vary greatly, but the point is it's a domestic resource, and the only tailpipe emission is water. It doesn't get any better than that. Really? It, just water? Just water. Is it safe? I mean, could, could we actually drink that water? It, you could drink the water. A little hard to believe. I've got to taste this stuff for myself. All right, Steve, I'm ready to go here. Got the cup in hand. What am I doing? <laughs> this is crazy. Uh, there we go. Oh. oh, isn't that nice? It gives new meaning to uh, 
hanging out at the water cooler. Steve, that's that's a lot of water. <laughs> it's good water. And uh, you want to try it? Sure. Okay. <laughs> no problem, huh? No problem. You're on. Huh. That's good water. It's wow. Pure. Very pure. Velvety smooth. I'm going to take this with me, if that's all right. Deja vu. We're back on the track again. It's two days later. It's 5.30 a.m. I've had about three hours of sleep, which is three hours more than these guys. Their dedication and drive to get this car moving is truly inspirational. Now we wait. Any minute. Buckeye bullet two. Really fast. Hydrogen car. There they are. You can see them. They're really far away. But at least they're coming. <laughs> Let's meet him. How you doing, Isaac? <laughs> you hanging in there? Yep. Good to see you. Seven, good morning. Good morning. Good to see you. Thank you. Matt. Good morning. You know what? I, I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm amazed that you've uh, you've done this. You feeling all right? you feeling okay about the car? That's the most important. Thing. Yeah. Yeah, we're confident about the car. Yeah. I mean, I'm very pleased with it. Yeah. Very pleased with it. It's pretty good. But it's in a position now. You're happy. You're safe. Uh, you feel it confident about it? Yes, very confident. Drum roll, please. Finally, they're bringing the Buckeye Bullet 2 out onto the track. Yeah. With, uh, just on the... They can't turn the vehicle on these cards because the carts, they spin underneath. This has no turning radius. That's the problem. It'll take a quarter mile just to turn this thing around the corner. So that's the problem. It looks like the team has to come up with one more solution. That's what these, that's what they do. They continue to come up with solutions on the fly. Unbelievable. The group is pretty dynamic in that they'll do anything to overcome a, to overcome a problem or find a solution. You're low on sleep and you, know, you don't have very many fresh ideas. You can always count on your teammates and uh, they can pull you through it to exhaust every one of your resources.